all know just how important certifications are. They are a way for us to demonstrate our expertise in certain subjects. And we can, of course, also use certifications to either get a job in cybersecurity or perhaps even get a promotion. However, it needs to be said that not all certifications are equal. There are certifications that are more respected and more valued than others. But there are also certain certifications which, in my humble opinion, are overrated. Now, I'm not trying to say these certifications are bad in any way as every certification will offer you some sort of value, either value in what you would learn, either theoretically or practically, and also value in that every certification has some potential to increase your chances of getting a job in cybersecurity. But in this video, I'm going to give you what I believe are the top five most overrated certifications and why you may want to reconsider getting them. Now, before I jump into the video, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. I talk all matters related to cybersecurity. So if you do like content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. All right. Now, the first certification on this list is going to be the CompTIA A+. Now, there is a trend I've noticed over the past couple of years, and that is that more and more professionals and students who want to start their career in cybersecurity are going for the a plus certification now i know why and i actually do blame myself for contributing to this trend just a little bit and the reason is because very often people who are trying to break into cybersecurity are told that in order to become a true cybersecurity professional you need to know something about everything under IT. So you need to know something about hardware and software and networking and programming and so on. So the natural question would be, okay, where do I go to learn something about computer hardware? What's the best resource? Now the computer A plus training is by far the very best resource for learning about computer hardware. So many of these students, they will go and take the training and then after the training, after they've learned everything there is to know about A+, they end up taking the exam, getting the certification. They don't seem to realize that it's perfectly fine for you to go for the training for an exam, but not actually take the exam and earn that certification. That is going to be applicable here with the A+. I would highly encourage you to go for the training but do not get the certification. Why? Because the certification itself isn't going to help you get a job in cybersecurity. There is no HR manager out there who will hire you just because you have the A plus certification. So in my humble opinion, for jobs under cybersecurity, the A plus is overrated and it is a certification that you should not go for. The second certification on this list is going to be the GAC Security Essentials, GSEC. Now, this is an entry-level certification, and in my humble opinion, it's actually superior to the Compton Security Plus because it is more advanced, it is more in-depth. However, the reason why I believe it is overrated is because of two major reasons. The very first reason is because it is a bloody expensive exam. It costs nearly a $1,000 just to take the exam and imagine if you take the exam and you fail then you will have to try to rewrite the exam again that's almost two thousand dollars spent on trying to acquire an entry level certification keep that in mind it's just an entry level certification and the second reason why i believe it is overrated is because the security plus is still the more widely recognized and widely respected certification over the two. I know it's kind of odd, given the fact that the GSEC is more advanced, it is the more difficult exam to pass, it's more in-depth than the Security Plus, however, from the hiring perspective, the Security Plus is still more widely recognized than the GSEC. So, in my humble opinion, unless maybe it is your company that's paying for the training, paying for the exam, I don't think it is worth taking the certification. And in fact, one thing I almost forgot to mention is the training. The training itself for this particular exam could cost you nearly 7,000 US dollars. In my humble opinion, it's just not worth it for an entry level certification. The Security Plus, in my humble opinion, would be the more ideal option for you over the GSEC. 
Now, the third certification on this list is going to be quite possibly the most controversial on this list. I can already see people typing in the comment section below. Oh, Alex, I disagree with you. You're wrong. I kind of believe you said this, but I have to be honest with you. I think this certification is a little bit overrated. And this certification is the CompTIA Network Plus. Yes, I said it. I believe the Network Plus is a slightly overrated certification to acquire. And why? For the simple reason that there is a far superior, a much more valued and a much more recognized certification in networking than the Network Plus. And this certification is going to be the CCNA. Listen, if you're trying to get a job in cybersecurity on the network security or network management or any sort of technical role and you want to get a certification on the networking the ccna is the much better choice than the network plus network plus is great for entry-level professionals complete beginners but if you want to get or improve your chances of getting a job or getting a promotion the ccna is the go-to Forget about the Network Plus. I know it's a much below certification. I also do like the certification. The training itself, I always recommend to my students to go for the Network Plus training. But again, when it comes to getting a job or a promotion in cybersecurity, the CCNA is simply the much better of the two certifications. Now, the fourth certification on this list is going to be the CCSP, the Certified Cloud Security Professional. And the reason is kind of similar to the Network Plus. The CCSP, it's a very vendor neutral kind of training and certification. It's not specialized in any particular uh, cloud service provider. That's why if you're an entry level, if you're trying to just learn some basics about cloud security, things like that, yes, the CCSP would be good for you. However, if you want to get hired as a cloud security engineer, the company would expect you to be a specialist in whatever cloud service provider that they're actually using, whether it's Google or Amazon or Microsoft. So if you're trying to get hired as a Google cloud security professional, they would expect you to have the certification specifically under Google cloud services, not the CCSP that is just vendor neutral. So while the CCSP may be great for people who just want to learn the basics about cloud security and just have like a general foundational knowledge, when it comes to getting a job, specialization is going to be extremely important. You will have to specialize. So whether you're specializing in Microsoft cloud services, Google cloud services, Amazon cloud services, and so on, you would have to earn the certification on the, that specific cloud service provider as opposed to the CCSP. And this is why I believe the CCSP is an overrated certification. Now, the fifth and final certification on this list, and this might come as a shock to you, but when you think about it, it shouldn't really be a shock, and that is the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification. I'm going to put a giant asterisk next to this certification because it is still a certification I would recommend that you get. Now, hold on. What am I saying here? Why am I contradicting myself? I'm talking about the most overrated certifications and yet I'm still saying you should go for one of them. Let me explain. See, the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification, when most students and most candidates, when they see those words, Certified Ethical Hacker, they immediately begin to think, oh, if I take the training, if I take the exam and I pass, I will become an actual real Certified Ethical Hacker. I will be able to ethically hack into computers and networks and things like that. In reality, though, the exam, the training is very heavily theoretically based. There's practically no hands-on exercises. You're not getting any sort of practical knowledge. So most people who have the CEH, yes, they have the theoretical knowledge, but they don't really have any hands-on experience. That's why I say it is overrated because most people think that, oh, they're gonna get their hands very, very, very dirty. They're gonna learn how to hack, things like that. 
but nothing could be further from the truth. Mostly, you're just going to learn theoretical aspects of ethical hacking, not practical aspects. Now, if you're looking for an actual certification that will give you hands-on experience, practical skills, then you want to check out the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification, the OSCP. This, in my humble opinion, is a far superior certification to the CEH if you're looking to acquire some practical skills. Now, the reason why I would still recommend that that's probably what I've just said, that you go for the CEH is simply because the CEH is still widely recognized and widely respected, especially when it comes to hiring people for certified ethical hacker positions. HR all over the world, HR management, they still recognize the CEH, they still respect the CEH, and that's why you should still go for the CEH certification. All I'm saying here is that do not make the mistake of thinking that, oh, when I go for the CEH training, I'm going to learn how to become a certified ethical hacker. No, you will not. You will learn the theoretical aspects, but not just the practical aspects. You need to go for additional training to be able to actually ethically hack in real life. So that's it for the video. My top five most overrated certifications in the world of cybersecurity. What did you think about this list? Do you agree with me? Do you think there are other certifications that should have been on this list? Or do you just completely disagree with me and you think this list is just nonsense? I would love to hear from you. Put your comments down in the comment section below and I'll respond to every single one of them. If you enjoyed the video, you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, share this video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And again, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. My name is Alex. I make content around the world of cybersecurity. So if you do enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.